Hi, good morning. Um, I just uh, felt I should share a thought with you guys this morning. Um, because I see a lot, I see, I see a lot in this my few years um, experience. I've been leading worship, I've been in the choir uh, since I became a Christian. So I felt I should um, share with you. I've been a worship leader for quite a while. And then I have seen a lot of things happen. One of the reasons why uh, you no, know, we 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 feel frustrated. Sometimes we feel fulfilled. Sometimes when things are not just working the way we expected them. While we when we stand uh, before the congregation and then the people, in our opinion, that we think should enjoy what we are doing, are not just following. You know. So we, we get disturbed. Sometimes we feel maybe we have sinned or. We have um, committed one grievous sin and, and then God shuts the heaven against us. So this morning, I, I just want to share four things that I think worship leaders don't do. Um, because if you assume these rules and you don't, you're not seeing the results, you get discouraged. Number one, we are not cheerleaders. We don't make people feel good. We don't make people happy. That's not our job as worship leaders. Our, our goal on the altar when we take the microphone to lead worship is not to make people happy. Cheerleaders elicit momentary response. When I, I use the word momentary. Momentary means it happens right there. Hey, if you, want, if you don't want to die um, tomorrow, Shout seven hallelujahs. You see people, you know, momentary. After that time, nobody shouts hallelujah. So our job is to lead people in a lifelong pursuit of God. That's why we lead worship. Our that time spent on the altar is not to make people feel good. Yes, people can feel good, but that should not be your end. Your end goal should be that you know, even when there's no music, people worship God genuinely in spirit and in truth. So I just thought I should share that. Number two, we are not rock stars. You know, I say a lot. I say a lot. Our attention more when we, when we climb that stage or, or the, I mean, that physical altar. It's most of the time on us, on the rehearsals we have made, we have done, on the arrangement we have done. So we, we, we feel, you know, some, somewhat um, uh, cocky, or, or let, me, let me use that word, if we don't go by those, those arrangements. We, sometimes we feel, we feel dogged. We want to go for song one, song two, song three, song four, song four, the way we have, we have arranged it, at the rehearsals and so we jeopardize what is happening at that moment so we are not rock stars rock stars focus more on themselves rock stars sacrifice clarity for art i say it again rock stars they sacrifice clarity in what they do clarity in the choice of words in the look, they sacrifice it for the art. The art takes center stage than worship. So we are not rock stars. So if, if we are not rock stars, we are supposed to magnify. Let, let the message of our worship become evident. Let it be clear. Let it not be shrouded in loud music. Let it not be shrouded in loud, let, let, not, let not be covered in loud music. Let the words of your worship be, let it be evident. Let people see it. I bow down and worshiping, I bow down and I'm still standing. Let it be seen. Do, do you understand? You cannot say you are, I bow down 
and worship him and you are standing. So it, it means you don't even understand what you are saying. So that, that's, that's number two. We are not, we're not rock stars. More often, we, we are hidden in worship. We make Jesus known. We are not known. We're just there to facilitate that moment, that time. All right, number three, we don't make things happen. Don't make things happen. It is not our duty. It's not our job to make things happen. It's not our job to make people receive miracles. It's not our job to. Make, it's not our duty to make people fall under the anointing. It's not. It's not our duty. To get people to worship God. It is not. Our duty is to facilitate that moment. You can't make people worship God. You know, somebody said, worship is better caught than taught. You can actually teach people how to worship. But when people get to discover how, why, how to worship and why they worship is it stays longer than in fact it's, it's, it becomes eternity in their nature to worship it, it becomes something they they do even without the music even without the music so we don't make things happen our job is to to is to, is to, is to you know Enable is to, is to enable that environment, that moment. Let it be such that people are free to express themselves. Number four, we don't usher in God's presence. You know, I hear people say, let's usher in God's presence now. Let's wave our hands as we, as we usher in God's presence. No, that's not scripture. That's not where we are today. The Bible says we are God's temple. God lives in us. His presence is with us. He says, I will be with you even to the end of the age. That's what he said. God's presence is always, is ever present with us. The question is, that is readily coming from, from, from my heart now is are we in his presence because we are we are supposed to be always in his presence because we are his temple we are his temple he lives in us so if we are not there it means we are not Christians. That's what it means. I mean, ushering in God's presence is like inviting, okay, I want to get saved. We don't usher in God's presence. His presence is with us. We make our temple clean. We make, we make our environment clean. When I mean environment, I mean us. Of course, we can always make uh, our um, center of worship clean which is very important but the more important part of this process is you it's me it's us to make ourselves clean to make ourselves you know conducive for the blessed trinity to to dwell that's his presence we don't we don't all shine we are his presence we are in his presence rather he lives in us we are his temple is already there for he said i will be with you even till the end of the age so i just felt i should share that um it's been a burden uh, in my heart and i i hope it blesses you i just hope it blesses if it blesses you please share this video you can send a comment i appreciate it you can send a comment you can share it share with your friends um, please stay rapturable, stay rapturable, 
Thank you. Bye-bye.